Let's take a look at some questions related to the statement of cash flows. We're starting right up here at the top. It says, which of the following should be added to net income in calculating net cash flow from operating activities using the indirect method? So we're looking for an addition to net income. Remember, net income is always going to be our starting point. And then we're going to make adjustments from that from there. <clears throat> and probably, let's see, not all of these are adjustments on the operating, I don't think. But let's see here. A gain on the sale of land. Gain on the sale of land. Well, when we talk about a gain, we want to, we want to recognize that a gain... Um, increased our net income so but but the sale of land is an investing activity so this is going to be an incorrect answer if we had had a loss there we would be all right a decrease in accounts payable okay well if we have a decrease in accounts payable uh, what we have there is a situation where we have paid down debt so we have paid some bills um, in excess of what was due for the current year, what we recognized on the income statement. So that's also going to be an incorrect answer because a decrease in accounts uh, payable, we have to make that as an extra subtraction. An increase in accrued liabilities. This is going to be our answer right here. Because, let's think about this, payables are liabilities, yes? Yes, they are. So if a decrease in liabilities is a subtraction from net income, then an increase in any type of liability is going to be an addition to net income. All right. Let's look at the second one says which of the following should be added to net it looks like the exact same question to net income and calculating net cash flow from operating activities using the indirect method okay depreciation expense and increase in inventory gain on the sale of equipment dividends declared and paid okay so again we're looking for an addition not a subtraction depreciation expense is a non-cash expense that is a that represents a decrease to net income so we have to add that back depreciation expense is an add back that's going to automatically be our right answer an increase in inventory well that suggests that we have <clears throat> it doesn't suggest it means we have purchased some extra inventory uh, but we have and we used cash to do that ultimately uh, yet we have not sold that so it's not the, the the effect of that extra inventory is not reflected. The profits are not reflected in net income. So that would be a subtraction. A gain on the sale of equipment. We essentially had the same thing up in the first question, although it dealt with land. So that's wrong. Dividends declared and paid. Um, <clears throat> the declared part means nothing. The paid part, that's a wrong answer as well. Okay, so A, depreciation expense, is our correct answer. Says, next question says, accounts receivable from sales to customers amounted to 45000 and 38000 at the beginning and end of the year, respectively. Okay, income reported on the income statement for the year was $120,000, exclusive of the effect of other adjustments. The net cash flows from operating activities to be reported on the statement of cash flows using the indirect method is. Okay, so what they're telling us is the only thing we have to consider is uh, accounts receivable. So, <clears throat> net income is always going to be our starting point, so we're going to need that number. In this case, it's 120000 At the beginning of the year... Whoops, I need to learn how to spell the word end. Okay, begin and end of the year. 45,000 at the beginning, 
38,000 at the end. What this is telling us here is that we collected essentially, let me clean this eight up a little bit. We essentially collected $7,000 from uh, prior year receivables. Okay, that's extra, that's an extra $7,000 in cash. So if this was the only adjustment that we had to make, and according to the question, it is, our answer is going to be $127,000. All right, let's see what we have here. Bear with me while I straighten this paper. All right, next question says, looks like this is going to be a little bit more involved. Um, net income reported on the income statement for the current year, 275000 That's your first clue to write that number down. We're going to need that number for sure. Let's see what else. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Depreciation recorded on fixed assets and amortization of patents for the year were $40,000 and $9,000 respectively. Balances of current asset and current liability accounts at the end at the end and at the beginning of the uh, year are as follows. So they're giving us the ending amount first and then the beginning. Okay, so before we uh, do anything else, let's go back up here and deal with this depreciation and this amortization. These are both non-cash expenses that have a negative impact on net income. Okay, so we need to add those back. $40,000 for the depreciation and $9,000 for the amortization. First item we have on here is cash. I want you to put a line through that and even through the word cash. We're not going to touch cash. Forget about cash. Okay, <clears throat> now look here what it says. It says accounts receivable ended $112,000 began 108,000, okay? So what that means is there's a net of $4,000 that had a positive impact on net income contributed to this $275,000 net income that we have not yet actually recorded in cash. Or I'm not, I said recorded. We haven't received it in cash. So we're going to put this $4,000 here, but I'm going to put these little, I'm going to put it in parentheses because it's a negative number. Okay. So we did that. What's the next item? It says inventories. Uh, ending amount was 105,000. Beginning amount is 93,000. <clears> well, this is the exact same thing. The asset has gone up. So this extra $12,000 here is cash that we have spent, all right? We have not yet, um, our inventory has gone up. We haven't sold that stuff yet. This is the exact same situation as is the uh, accounts receivable. It's a $12,000 subtraction or negative adjustment uh, to uh, net income. Next item, prepaid expenses. Beginning was 6,500, end is 4,500. So the first thing I want to tell you, remind you, prepaid expenses, these are assets. So when an asset goes down, that means we used more of it than we actually paid in cash by $2,000 here. This is a positive adjustment for $2,000. And then our final item says accounts payable, which is a liability. Beginning was 89000 end was 75000 This means we've paid down uh, a net $14,000 to our creditors. So that means that $14,000 of what we paid was really from a prior period. So this is a $14,000 adjustment 
and it is a negative figure. Liabilities, if you recall, move in the direction, the same direction. If, if the liability goes down, the adjustment to net income is also down. So let's start off here with $275,000. We're gonna add $40,000 for depreciation. We're gonna add the $9,000 back from amortization expense. We're going to subtract $4,000 for the increase in accounts receivable. We're going to subtract $12,000 uh, for the increase in inventory. We're going to add $2,000 for the decrease in the prepaid expenses asset. And then finally, we're going to subtract out $14,000 for the decrease in liabilities, the uh, accounts payable. If we do that, we come up with a final answer of $296,000. Okay, let's go ahead and end this uh, video and then we'll start another one on the rest of, for the rest of the chapter.